Hi, welcome to Respectfully Objectively. We talk about everything in hip hop and try to be as respectful as possible. The subject for today is Joe Budden versus Rory and Maul again. If you don't know, bro, Joe Budden, Rory and Maul have been going back and forth for like the last two or three weeks throwing shots at each other. Not even subliminal shots, just straight up shots, like straight bombs away. Like, I don't like this, bro. This is wild corny to me. I don't like this. Me, I've been a long time Joe Budden podcast fan. I think the Joe Budden podcast with Rory and Maul is the greatest podcast of all time. Gangster, that has so much knowledge in it. It gave you so much details about the music industry, about life, great moments, everything about it, bro. I feel like that was really one of the best podcasts of all time. So to see them beefing with each other, even though they went their separate ways, is wild corny to me. Wild corny to me. Um, I feel like this started recently because... Joe but Complex put out a list about the best media personalities and Joe Budden was number one. Rory and Maul didn't have an issue with him as number one, I think. They were just making jokes about it, calling him the cat burglar and all of that. Then Joe Budden went on his platform after that, started calling Rory and Maul bare minimum because they didn't do nothing to elevate since they left the Joe Budden podcast, which I can see. I can see. They're not, it seems like they're not as hungry as they once were, respectfully. It seems like they're not as hungry as they once were. But the thing with Joe Budden is like, all right, Joe Budden now has a new podcast, right? He has his new podcast, but now it's Queens Flip, Melissa Ford, Ice, Ish, and Still Parks is on there. This is like the third time Joe Budden has had a new cast. The third time he's had a new cast. That's not a lot of consistency. I'm not going to lie. That's not a lot of consistency. And that's six different mics. Like, that's not going to work. And Joe Budden has a history of not working with others. Him and Total Slaughter did not work out. Him and Rory and Maul did not work out. I don't know what happened with him and Revolt, but State of Culture did one season, two seasons, and stopped. Him and Complex didn't work out. So he has a history of not working well with others to a certain extent. Even though he's really good for the culture, and I'm sure that he's giving Queens Flip and Melissa for a wild game and paying them good. He's not good at working with others. Gangsta, it always comes back to bite him. That's why he that's why he stopped on his own network. You feel me? So I was like, bro, y'all both have stuff that y'all not perfect at. Rory and Maul is not perfect. Joe Budden is not perfect. But them going back and forth beefing with each other after everybody knew y'all was best friends for like eight years straight. Like y'all used to live together. Now throwing shots at each other on the internet is wild corny. I was just wild corny on both sides. I ain't gonna lie, it's wild corny. I don't like it. I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's funny. I watch it. I ain't gonna lie. I watch it, but I don't. I don't support it. I don't support the Joe Budden versus Rory versus Maul. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section.